You're watching the Wellness Herald, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, a new treatment option for people with gum disease. No more bleeding gums, puffy gums, loose teeth. Uh, with us, we have an expert on the topic. He's Philadelphia's periodontist, Dr. Stephen Brown. Dr. Brown, welcome to the program. Well, let's begin with the treatment of gum disease. How has it changed over the last 20 years, 30 years, uh, you know, as compared to today? Gum disease, when you have a bacterial infection, causes a crevice or a pocket between the gum and the tooth. Okay. This is a warm, dark, moist area filled with food, perfect area for bacteria to grow. But it's very difficult to clean. So the conventional method of treatment was, how do we get rid of this pocket so as to make it easier for the patient to clean? So if this was the pocket, yeah. the only way to get rid of it was either to cut it off or move it down. What does that do? Well, it gets rid of the pocket, but what it also does is it leaves the patient slightly disfigured. You have long, sensitive teeth. You've got teeth with spaces between them. But that's how it's being done every day, today. Is that right? That, as we are speaking here, it's being done in thousands of offices across the country. And that's now, cutting it out, cutting out this infection. Cutting it off or cutting it out, one or all the right, other, all right. however you wish to say it. The fact of the matter is, there's nothing intrinsically wrong with the idea of doing surgery, but there's a much better way because the surgery is treating the effects. It's not treating the cause. And the, and the cause is a bacterial? The cause is bacteria. Okay. Never forget the fact that the bacteria are the cause, and that is the reason why the laser gives us options that we never had with the more traditional, I like to say antiquated, therapy. And uh, now when you talk to doctors about this, because mm -hmm. I guess in your field, you are the gum specialist, the periodontist, right? Is right. that right? It's divided, right? Some say, you know, because I look anticipate yeah. in this interview, some of, the, some of the periodontists say, Randy, I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready to do it. I don't know if there's enough evidence. I don't know if it works, they say. We're heavily divided, okay? okay? So does in it fact, work? Let's start there. It works. It absolutely works. First of all, not only does it work, and I can talk to you about the clinical results, but it works because we have research evidence published in referee journals across, read across the world that say that this works. So there no longer can be any doubt that it works. Someone could have a different point of view. Do you do surgeries anymore for pocketing? For oh, I'm going to give you a statistic that's probably going to knock your socks off, okay? okay. <laughs> okay. In the last almost two years, I have not done one flap surgery, and flap surgery is the traditional surgery. For gum disease? Flap surgery for the sole purpose of eliminating pockets. A pocket. I haven't done it once in the last 18 months to two years. You just there's a reason so for that. So you just use the laser? I use the laser. I use the laser routinely for a number of reasons, most important of which is it attacks the cause it attacks the bacteria. The fact of the matter is, is that laser energy, light energy, all it is is light, has a fantastic ability to be attracted to colors. And the fact of the matter is that the bacteria that cause periodontal disease have four colors, red, right? yellow, orange, and black. And so the laser energy goes right through the tissue, deep into the tissue, kills the bacteria with no collateral damage to the other tissue. So it's safe, it's effective, it causes the bacteria to be killed on the spot. Consequently, when we get rid of this bacterial activity, the patient's own ability to heal takes over. And we don't have any of those side effects that I spoke of before. Now, what about pain? Feet. When you compare the two pain-wise, I mean, what do patients say? Because you've got the laser therapy, and then you have the traditional cutting and stitching. Once again, absolutely no comparison. Really? The routine for me over the past 25 years or so, first of all, I've been teaching this. I still continue to teach surgery because one needs to learn the basics. But over the past 20, 25 years, it was routine for me to prescribe narcotic analgesics for patients. Sometimes they had swelling and discomfort for a number of days. With traditional surgery? With traditional surgery. Gum if, surgery, okay. If we were doing it in more than one area of the mouth, they didn't want to come back and have it done again. So we went to doing it full mouth, which made it even worse for many people. Very painful. Yes. 
So the laser? This is entirely different. Entirely different. Okay. I have patients, I call all my patients the night after their surgery. Routinely they're telling me, oh yeah, I took a couple of Tylenol. Yeah, one tells me I, I had some Advil. That's the most, and they're done by the next morning. So you just go around with a laser, zap it out. I don't want to oversimplify it, but you're like killing the bacteria, That's right. and the bad breath goes away. In Is fact, that right? Sure. We fix the problem, and you change the person. Good. Fix the problem, and the person comes out of the <laughs> shell. And yeah. I want to tell you that is what really gets me up in the morning. That you love is it. what's reward. You love this. <laughs> I wouldn't be doing it as long as I have and teaching as much as I do and spreading the gospel, and I hate to use that terminology, yeah. but that's what I'm doing. Spreading the gospel of a technology that's available today to everyone that is without comparison. I see you guys wear, not you in particular, but this... Uh, buttons and and, I, and and you have like a picture of it says no more cutting and no more stitching or something like that the logo of millennium dental technologies and by the way it's important to know that not all lasers were created equal physics is different there is only one laser that is fda approved and a patented protocol for treating periodontal disease and the only one is the periolase laser that's the only one that has been approved. That's the only one that's been researched. That's the only one that will do the kinds of things that I've been talking about. There are many different lasers that will do many different things, some of them destructive. Those are not the ones we want to be using. So you go and you want to ask, does my periodontist have a laser? And if he has the laser, make certain that they've got the periolase laser because it's the only one that has university-based studies okay. proving that it works. This shows cutting the gum and pulling the gum away from the tooth. Essentially, you can see a scalpel cutting that gum. So this, this is how it's being done every This is day. how it's being done in thousands of offices while we're speaking. So they're cutting out what? The they're infection? cutting out the diseased tissue. Okay. And in fact, there's nothing wrong with that. The problem is that technique, after it's done, leaves a patient looking like this. Okay. Spaces between their teeth, black triangles between their teeth, separations between their teeth. Because they're cutting out the gum. Because they're cutting away natural tissue rather than doing something that will cause that tissue to heal. Like? The laser. The laser will kill the bacteria. The laser will allow the tissue to reconstitute itself. It will allow the body to do its best thing, heal itself. Interesting. What we do know is that the results postoperatively aren't even close to what the old results were. They are that much better. And it doesn't hurt. I mean, patients don't really complain about the pain. They do not complain not about the pain. Okay. Okay? The sensitivity of the teeth is because of the position of the gum. With the laser treatment, the gums don't recede. They stay where they are. The diseased tissue is removed. The bacteria are removed from the inside out. Okay. But one thing is for sure, it's cost effective. Does it work better, in your it opinion? Work, it works much better in my opinion. So if you were speaking to much a thousand periodontists right now, or general dentists, or oral surgeons, or whoever, and they said, Dr. Brown, does this laser therapy work? Better, more effective, in your opinion, than traditional cutting. And so Better, effective, less invasive, and predictable. Well, good. Is this the future of dentistry? It is absolutely. How many years before you get rid of the old way? Well, I don't know how long it's going to take. 50 for, years? <laughs> I hope it's a lot faster than that. But the fact of the matter is everything in medicine is going towards non-invasive techniques. Okay? All of the surgery, arthroscopic surgery, back surgery, knee surgery, it's all being done with non-invasive techniques. Why shouldn't periodontal disease be treated the same way? This is, in fact, the 21st century. It's time that we got on board and understood that this is an infection and ought to be treated like an infection. And when you do, the good old body takes over with its healing potential, and the rest is, as good they say, you.